The Mediterranean roasted leg of lamb begins with a boneless leg of lamb. The important thing is before we start to stuff this, to make sure that the outside of the leg of lamb, that you've removed all the excess fat. Once that's done, simply lay the leg of lamb open on the cutting board with the inside of the leg of lamb up right here. You also want to take off any excess fat from within the leg. Before we wrap this up, we do have to make a little stuffing though. And that starts right over in this bowl. And in the bowl here, I have some extra virgin olive oil. And because it's Mediterranean, I want to infuse lots of Mediterranean flavors into the leg of lamb. So here we go. Very simply, I'm going to take some black pepper, put it into the olive oil along with some sea salt. And it's important, by the way, that there's enough salt and pepper here because this is a fairly large piece of meat and you want to be sure there's enough seasoning for the entire piece of meat. In with more Mediterranean flavors, this is some minced up fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. Toss that into the olive oil along with a whole bunch of minced up garlic, fresh minced garlic. And this is great because garlic goes with lamb so very well. Now two sort of interesting ingredients. We're going to put in some roasted red peppers and some chopped up Kalamata olives. And those Kalamata olives have a real flavor boost. So I'm going to stir those right into the oil mixture just like this and stir it up. Now you can smell it at this point because this is a very intensely flavored mixture with lots of that raw garlic in there. It's got a big flavor hit. But that is the seasoning for the entire leg of lamb. Now one thing we need to do before we put this stuffing on the inside of the leg of lamb, you'll notice that there are parts of the lamb leg that's actually quite thick over here as well. So what we're going to do to increase the surface area of the leg of lamb is just make some small cuts into the meat. Now again, notice it's just a small cut. I'm not cutting all the way through by any means. Just some small cuts into the thicker areas of the meat. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to work. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's going to allow me to work all of this stuffing now into the lamb itself. And actually what we're going to do is kind of fun, is we're going to massage this right into the meat. And you're going to push it down into all those little cuts that we just made. And the aroma again of this is just wonderful. It's really, really powerful and delicious. By the way, you could also do many other things to flavor a leg of lamb. You could certainly put some Asian spices in there, or if you wanted to keep the Mediterranean idea going, you could put a little feta cheese in here, maybe even a sprinkle of Parmesan inside, and that's going to give it a little bit more flavoring, a little bit more of that salt and that Mediterranean characteristic. Okay, so here we go. Now what we have to do is roll up the leg, and very simply, I'm just going to take it and roll it just like so. Now notice as you do this, you're always going to lose a few little pieces out here on the cutting board. That's not a problem. When we're done, we're going to just scoot them right back in. All right, perfect. Now when you tie up the leg of lamb, the first step is you want to create the shape. And you'll notice that when I rolled that up, I just sort of pushed it exactly where I wanted it. The point is you want a nice, even roast so that it cooks nice and evenly. And here's a little trick for this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a string and we're going to wrap it right around the leg of lamb, just around the side. Now we're not going to tie it really tight, just a little tight, just like this. The reason for this and for this one, notice this, we're going to take it over the top this way and right underneath the roast and we're going to tie it right back here. The reason that we put these two strings on is to hold the roast's shape. Because the next step in this, let me just trim off the piece of string, the next step is to start tying the roast this way. And the problem is, if we tie the roast too tightly in one spot, it's going to push everything the other way. And what happens at the end is that you don't have a nice even roast. And so you'll notice that, for instance, right here, it's a little bit thicker, so that's okay. Now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pull the string very tightly 
and that maintains the shape. The only reason that we can do this is because of those two initial strings around the side and on top and underneath. Now you're going to notice that I mentioned before some of these are going to fall out under the cutting board while you're tying up that leg of lamb. Not a problem, you just sort of take them and you find a little hole in there and you just sort of stick them right back inside because that's all the flavor. You don't want to lose any of that. Now a little trick, once the roast is all tied up, the next step is to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. The reason for that is, is that we've just put all these wonderfully flavored ingredients inside of the leg of lamb and that time will allow those ingredients to marinate into the meat and you'll have a much more flavorful roast. After that time, take it out of the cooler, let it sit for about an hour or so to warm up and then go ahead and take it and put it into your roasting pan, complete with a rack in the bottom. We're going to roast this at 375 degrees until a desired doneness. After the roast comes out of the oven, we let it relax for about 10 to 20 minutes. And at that point, we're ready to slice it up like we're doing right here. And once again, all the aromas of that garlic and the Kalamata olives and the red peppers and the herbs has just flavored this. And it really is delicious. This Mediterranean roasted lamb leg recipe, as well as others, can be found on the American Lamb Board website. For more information and lamb recipes, visit www.americanlamb.com dot com.